I have seen this uh, latest series about uh, Indian matchmaking and uh, I was so shocked initially because first I thought I still exist in our culture because nowadays people are getting married on their own choices. They don't generally go for a matchmaker or anyone. But uh, found it very interesting. Of course, the matchmaker he uh, she is trying to convince people according to their taste, their their you know their way of thinking. They're trying to she's trying hard to match their expectations rather. Mine was love marriage. I only found my groom and uh, yes, uh, my parents and everyone in family, they have given their consent that point of time because there was no religion um, issues. Of course, we both were Punjabi, so it was quite fine. I mean, not very uh, struggle, I would say. There, were, there was no struggle. Actually, I prefer love marriage because it's uh make people more uh, fix their life, they prepare good things for their future and they know each other before they get in, engaged in with their parents arranged and I believe most of the arranged uh, marriage they will get maybe divorced in the future or something like this. So I've obviously seen the show Indian Matchmaking and I have way too many thoughts on it. Firstly I felt like the show was extremely like uh, discriminatory if that's the right word. I feel like all the compromises and adjustments uh, you know in life are meant to be made by women. What are the men supposed to do? Also I personally have not been through this matchmaking journey so I don't know what it's really like but I feel like this this Seema auntie was too harsh on the women and I think the worst was that Geeta auntie who literally told Ankita ke, you know if, if you know if you need this to work you are the one who needs to make the adjustment and the compromises like what says who we're in 2020 we cannot be talking like this we cannot like I said I've never been on that matchmaking journey uh, I've been a matchmaker though for two of my friends lol uh, but no I have never been asked to meet a matchmaker made a bio data and I refuse to put my weight and my height on my bio data if there's anything I'm putting on my bio data is how what I do for a living or how good I'm at my work or what my values are what my principles are I'm not I'm not putting all these uh, superficial things I think I want to say I'm for love irrespective if you fall in love after you're arranged into that marriage or you were already in love when you got married I think uh, I'm not married and I think marriage is a huge step and uh, it's 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 a lot of things it's love it's commitment it's it seems like rather I'm not again from what I see some of my friends were married I think it's a lot of things it's a lot of work and um, it's a two-way street so um, it's love or it's arranged I think if your foundation values like respect and trust and all of that is there then either ways you're gonna have a fabulous marriage is what I think love marriage in my opinion is good because you will get to know your partner more and obviously with you know with the recent times it's always good to have open communication in order to have a you know strong relationship oh yes i have i mean it's it was like uh whether to watch it or not but you know it is cute you it keeps you curious so you have to watch it so i've seen so far uh, three episodes and yeah it's quite a quite a one <laughs> So uh, we are Indian so basically for us uh, matchmaking is nothing new as a concept because you know back in India 90% um, of arranged marriage is through matchmaking. I myself have done arranged marriage and it's been going to be 10 years uh, soon of my marriage and but however uh, we i got to know my husband through a, a matchmaking website it was not matchmaking it was a matrimony website where my husband saw my profile which was uploaded by my parents for me like uh, for us like that time we got married uh, like on the day of the marriage we were meeting for the fifth time so we took a leap of faith. I still feel that even if you do a love marriage or an arranged marriage, you have to take a leap of faith, which is important because you have to trust the process. Well, I think I should get uh, into a love marriage because um, if you know the person prior to your marriage, that is great, you know, and you should have the compatibility, you guys should have understanding. So I think love marriages last also, you know, uh, more than what arranged marriages um, do. However, I'm not against arranged marriages though. <laughs>
<laughs> but love marriages i think would be more beneficial for you know both the persons whether be a female or male yes my family has tried plenty of times to set me up uh, with many boys i spoke to them i met them i had met them their families as well but you know somewhere when you are talking i feel like even if you can't be friends initially then i think you cannot last long i mean even your relationship cannot last long so 3 months 4 months you will come to know the actual personality of the person and that's there it is it was a cringe fest for me uh, i absolutely hate the idea that uh, there's a group of there's a lady who is coming and uh, trying to fix two people up for marriage um one set of people has their demands and the others are just meant to meet it it's it's not uh, a collation of ideas it's not two people coming together because they like each other uh, or anything of the sort in marriage it's it's just one person's demands being met and i'm absolutely not okay with that i am a product of an arranged marriage i am in an arranged marriage myself um which did happen as a part of a setup yes uh but it wasn't as bad as this you asked me about the show the show was pretty bad but mine uh wasn't like that because in my experience my parents knew my husband's family uh before and um, it was it was not so much about uh, you know their demands they were very open and they were very open to accepting my needs and my demands as well uh, because of which it was okay but by and large in this i see that it is it is one party it's either the girl or the guy who has a very strong set of demands which need to be met it's like they have a set of tick boxes all of which need to be ticked for love marriage very much for love marriage because at least it gives you a chance to know the person i know the chances of both an arranged marriage and a love marriage um surviving um the situations that we have now are just about the same but um i would prefer an arranged marriage because at least it gives me the chance to know what i'm getting into i will never know him completely i know that but it would have given me the chance to uh, know what i'm getting into and and not feel awkward uh, you know about everything else that happens in the marriage